hey guys welcome back to my channel on today's video we're going to talk about countries apart from nigeria where Igbo people can be found and Igbo language is spoken so if you're interested in a topic like this just hit the subscribe button if you haven't and let's dive into this i'm dreaming in dreams bigger than me taking my time Given to me, pay my life into a masterpiece. All right, guys, one of the biggest ethnic grouping in Africa is the Igbo, often referred to as the Igbo. All right, so among all this, Igbo people uh, can be found in the southeastern part of the country. At least that is where they are that is their own place okay just like every other ethnic groups that have their states Igbo people have their states as the southeast part of the country all right so on those particular parts of the country where Igbo people can be found the states there are Anambra, Anambra states, Imo states, Abia states, Enugu states and Ebony states, all right. So, these states are where you can find the Igbo people, these are their place of staying, all right. So, but Igbo people they travel wide around this country, they stay in many places other than their own particular place, all right. But apart from that, what brings us to today's to topic is about the places you don't know that Igbo people also exist, apart from. The country which is Nigeria where they are known to be you can find out that they are in other parts of this country okay and also in Nigeria there are other places that Igbo population is residing in the country Nigeria apart from talking about the other country that is not Nigeria and those places okay is Kogi state Delta State and River State, yes, where they cover almost about 25% of population in the country. Yeah. Funny enough and very fatly, this particular population that is covered by Igbo people, they speak Igbo. You can find Igbo people in Kogi State speaking Igbo as their language. Then in River State, some part of rivers also speak Igbo. Igbo language. Then in Kogi state, in Delta state, the same. They all speak and speak fluently Igbo language. Yes. According to history, you know, during slave trade, most Igbos were sold to different countries. You know, uh, um, the British colonies, you know, during slave trade, Igbo people were also sold out to other parts of the country that is not Nigeria, all right? So in the United States, um, Cuba, you know, Belize, Barbados, and the Bahamas, these countries, you will see Igbo people there. There are so much Igbo people there, and it has been there like that till now, and other countries like um, Cameroon and uh, Equatorial Guinea, okay? The, um, these countries, you will find Igbo, Igbo people there, and uh, Igbo-speaking people are there also. Then in Equatorial Guinea, for example, Igbo people speak Igbo there, all right, and it is regarded as Igbo. Igbo, it is their language is called them. Um, is regarded as a minority language, it's like a common language that they use among themselves in Equatorial Guinea. <laughs> in, in Equatorial Guinea, especially the Bioko Island in Equatorial Guinea, we found out that most people. Are speaking Igbo there. This Bioko in Equatorial Guinea is uh, formerly known as uh, Benandopo, a name of um, a country. You know, Benandopo. You know, most of people that read history. Benandopo, yes. So, in Cameroon, yes, they also speak Igbo. And um, history recorded that about 110 people. Of Cameroon speak Igbo as their main language. Yes. 
So another place um you find Igbo people and call Igbo culture there too is in Jamaica. Yes, in Jamaica. In Jamaica, the Igbo we are often uh, referred to as Igbo in E B O E. You know, that's where they refer to Igbo, or they call it Igbo. You know, so and Igbo people we are taking a relatively high number to Jamaica as slaves. You know. So it is no surprise that there is some Igbo language in Jamaica patois. Also, the Jamaicans would use um, the word red able as a way of uh, defining a, a black, a black tone person that is light skin, like a black man that, that has a light skin that is yellow. They call it red able, meaning that this person is is actually from Igbo, but is like white as us, but it's not white, it's a black man, but in a yellow, yellowish skin. It's going to call the person Red Igbo. So, the Igbo culture has moved around the whole countries, um, and all these countries in the United States, so we call Black Americans, they are also Igbo, according to history, the way it is. So, and they speak Igbo fluently. Shali Cameroon, Jamaica, um, Equatorial Guinea, um, Cuba, you know, and so part of um, other countries where you see Igbo people residing. So I think this interests you, and I I really know that it might be a shock to so many people. All right, that it's not only um, the Igbo people. Who are the main Igbo are the ones that are speaking Igbo today. There are other countries who hear and understand Igbo and some part that is not in this country. They are outside the country but they hear Igbo fluently and they also do so many cultures that portray Igbo culture. Yes, like in Jamaica, it's also recorded that in Jamaica there is a one um, culture that they always perform. So there are all these parts of this um, places you can find Igbo people they are in existence. Alright? So watch out for these countries and know that Igbo people are existing there and not only in Nigeria. Okay? So thank you for watching my videos. I love you all so much. And I believe that this video is going to enlighten you more about Igbo people. Alright? So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? And even if you are a returning subscriber, always returning to watch my videos. Thank you so much for your support. I love you all so much. And don't forget to comment on this video. Give us a thumbs up by clicking that um, like button and uh, share this video to everyone that will need to watch this video right now. I love you all and don't forget this is me, Chinas Putam and I am saying I am saying bye bye for now. See you guys in my next video.